Hello YouTube, Scraps here from Griffin Mods. I'm very excited today to be bringing you a review and direct comparison video for the brand new Retaliator. Uh, this is the first in Nerf's new Elite line of blasters. Uh, basically it's a clone of the Recon with some heavily updated inter internals and they have finally decided to go with the direct blender design which I'm very excited about. Uh, I have just taken it out of the box here and uh, it appears that they've decided to get rid of the pointless red dot sight and iron sight and instead decide to give you this neat little tactical grip. Uh, we'll find out if that's any good here in a minute. Uh, my plan is to do a direct side-by-side -side comparison with its brother blaster, the Recon, and uh, we'll see how it stacks up. I'm going to start out with the accessories, so without further ado, we'll get to it. Now one of the first things that you notice when you get out of the box is they have this brand new redesigned stock. And the stock, if you actually look straight down on it, uh, actually it kind of resembles the pinpoint sight, which I really hope they re-release. It's uh, really one of the only sights that Nerf has ever put out that's actually made any sense. Uh, it seems like a pretty heavy duty stock. Let me grab the uh, recon stock here for a second. It's definitely much shorter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the blaster itself. And it looks pretty sleek. Uh, it's very smooth. I actually really like the paint job on the Retaliator. Um, I'm going to hold it to my shoulder real quick. And it almost feels like a bullpup um, when you hold it to your shoulder. And it's extremely strong. Um, I'm actually uh, pretty happy with it. It's definitely much better than this... Uh, flimsy piece of crap recon stock that they shipped that uh, I've been thinking about trying to reinforce, but honestly I don't know if it's even worth it. Uh, it's got a nice shoulder pierce here, but other than that it's just flimsy and worthless. Okay, next order business. We have, actually we'll do the barrel first. I'm very excited to take a look at this because I've heard that it is actually rifled, which it almost looks like probably can't see it here but when you're looking down it in person it looks like when they have the camera on the inside of a James Bond video and you can see down the rifling uh, it's very cool now I have been told that with the rifling and the direct plunger design of the retaliator that the added barrel does not decrease your ranges that much and actually improves the accuracy uh, but we're going to do a very in-depth side-by-side uh, -side range and fire testing with the recon and we'll see if that is in fact true. Uh, next order of business is the tactical grip. Um, it feels very durable. Um, go ahead and attach it here real quick. And it's pretty solid um, actually. I'll go ahead and attach it to the blaster. Well, <laughs> apparently it's not that solid. So yeah, uh, very cool. Um, I don't know if I'll actually use it or not, but it's definitely a lot more useful than that red dot sight, even uh, even when they're modded. In comparison to the uh, bipod that comes with the stampede, obviously it doesn't have the bipod itself that pops out. Uh, the size is uh, a couple inches shorter, but it's very comfortable, and I, I kind of like this little guard that they have up here by the trigger. Next, we'll uh, take a look at the magazine. This is actually a 12-round magazine. Now, I've noticed there's a, they have the 12-round magazine with the uh, Retaliator. They're supposedly coming out with an 18-round magazine also. And there's a 25-round magazine with the Rampage. I'm not sure why they're decreasing the capacity. Uh, I don't think it has too much to do with the new darts. It might be uh, just due to the reliability of the magazine itself. Um, I do like that they're making it clear now so you can easily see how much ammo you have left. And uh, I did notice uh, when I was running with the Bash Stampede and higher rates of fire that some of the magazines, especially the 35 drums, would actually have trouble keeping up. Uh, so maybe that solves some of that issue. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull some of the darts out here. These are the new Elite Series darts, which is actually one of the things that I am the most excited about. I'm not going to go into too much uh, detail with describing the darts, 
right now because I'm going to do a very in-depth video and review comparing the uh, new Elite darts to the Streamlined darts. But uh, I'm definitely very excited. I can tell already that they do seem to be thicker. Um, the plastic, uh, or I'm sorry, the rubber domes at the end definitely seem to be a little bit thicker and more durable. Uh, and the weight seems to be much more evenly distributed throughout the dart. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to waste time making you guys watch me load up the magazine. We're going to get straight to the blaster itself. So, uh, here she is. The Retaliator. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I really like the paint job. Um, let me grab the recon real quick. So, between the Retaliator and the Recon itself, um, I'm actually surprised that this one still doesn't have, like, Recon behind the plastic, uh, because other than that, they are exactly the same, other than the paint job. The, uh, spacing on the back, um, where some people put the, uh, power chamber, as they call it, uh, looks to be the same size, and, uh, they really are identical in every way. Um, looking inside, uh, just from the outside, most of the Eternals uh, seem to be pretty much the same. Um, oh, wow. However, if you look at where it marries to the barrel, you can see for some reason this is very jagged. I don't know if that's for the connection with the barrel extension uh, or what. But uh, that's very interesting. We're going to do a very in-depth internals review um, later on. And it also looks like they have a brand new uh, dark tooth design down in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, but it'll be very interesting to take that apart and see what it's all about. I wonder if they're the jagged edges there to try to create a better seal with the barrel uh, and also make it more effective. We'll have to find out. So uh, I'm going to do a real quick dry fire, actually, here. First, we'll look in the jam door. See what we can see from there. Yeah, so the uh, the dart tooth uh, is definitely different in the Retaliator. Uh, it looks much more similar to the one that's used in the Stampede. There's the one on the Recon for comparison. Uh, I'm going to do a quick dry fire, um, see how they sound different. First we'll do the Recon. Pretty lackluster. This is a stock Recon, by the way. I haven't done any modifications to it whatsoever. And now for the Retaliator. definitely got a different sound to it. Um, it doesn't necessarily sound a whole lot more powerful, um, but we'll find out once we run a couple of darts through it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load up uh, the magazine with a few more darts and we'll give it a couple of test shots uh, just for this video and then I'll give you a very in-depth uh, range comparison testing outside here shortly. So here's the recon. Uh, this is a full six round magazine. I'm going to give it a couple of shots just to have something to compare the retaliator to. It's uh, very straight, but uh, and typical for a recon. I would expect that's maybe a 35, 40, just because it's basically a brand new recon, so it's shooting pretty well. Now we'll move to the Retaliator. I noticed the, the Prime may be just slightly heavier, um, but pretty much about the same as the Recon Prime. <laughs> I just noticed, if you look, uh, the magazine itself is clear on this side, so you can see how many rounds you have in there. Uh, they've put... Right here it says 12. If you remember on the Stampede, they had those horrible stickers over the top here. 
that you actually had to take off. That's an 18 round mag and you can really never tell how many you had in there. And then here, they actually have etched into the plastic the number 12. Uh, so obviously there's no mistaking how many darts go in that magazine. Wow. Um, I'm shooting against a dart catch right now, uh, so I can't see the true ranges at the moment. Uh, I would reckon that that probably gets about an additional 15 feet on a straight shot, just from the sound of it. But it definitely flew a lot straighter and uh, truer. I'm sure that can be attributed to the uh, direct plunger design, as well as the new darts, which are supposed to be a lot more reliable. Wow. Um, I can already tell. I don't know exactly how much of it is from the dart and how much is from the uh, redesign of the blaster. Uh, we'll figure that out a bit later. But they are definitely shooting a lot straighter and a lot more accurately. I'm very excited. And upon doing it a couple more times, I can feel that the prime is probably just slightly stronger than before. that dart just because I wanted to shoot it somewhere else and see what kind of distance we have. But uh, so far, uh, very impressed and I'm very excited to see what the actual ranges of these things are going to be. So uh, that's it for now and uh, I'll see you outside. So a quick, si so a quick side note on the uh, Retaliator versus the Recon. Upon closer inspection, uh, all of the copyrights, there's a separate copyright here on the butt stock as well as the blaster itself as well as the barrel and the foregrip uh, the barrel says copyright two, uh, 2007 uh, just like all of the copyrights on the recon uh, however the rest of the blaster all of the copyrights are 2011 so that gives you some idea of uh, how long they've been working on this elite series uh, also here's a real quick side-by-side -side comparison of the fully assembled Recon versus the fully assembled Retaliator. It's shortened by probably, I would guess, an inch and a half um, due solely to the shortened buttstock.